Doc Positive here at the Paws Veterinary Clinic, and we're here with Amber Rose. Now, Amber Rose belongs to Matilda here, a friend of mine, and Amber is uh, 14 years old. She's a little Shih Tzu, and she has been recently having episodes of collapse. Uh, she seems to be seizuring. She's recently started to have some uh, white frothiness coming out of her nostrils. She does lose bladder control. And we are discussing with mom whether or not she's actually having seizure activity or whether she's having syncopal episodes. Because uh, when she came in, we did notice she has a pretty significant heart murmur. The heart the valves open and close. Uh, when we listen with our stethoscope, we're listening to those valves open and close. And instead of ba-bump, 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 she's boosh, boosh. So she does have blood flow through the valves when she should. Uh, could potentially be seizures, but in a dog the age of Amber Rose, we see seizures for a lot of different reasons. And because of that, we did do a complete blood work. We did a CBC, a blood chemistry, a Lyme disease test, lots of testing, which essentially all came back normal, which can be frustrating for owners, can be frustrating for veterinarians, can be frustrating for Amber Rose because it doesn't help us come up with a diagnosis. It can rule a lot of reasons out. Low blood sugar, no problem with kidney failure, no problem with kidney function, liver functions good, no Lyme disease. Uh, she does not have classic signs of heart failure. She does have the murmur, but she doesn't have shortness of breath. She doesn't have any exercise intolerance. She doesn't have any fluid sounds in her chest. Uh, Older dogs who have seizure activity, it could possibly be something uh, like a brain tumor. So we talked with mom that because of the brain being encased in bone, the only real way to look at that is a CAT scan or an MRI. So at this point, mom is going to take Amber Rose to a referral center. And that referral center in our area, Valley Central Referral Group in Allentown, they have board certified cardiologists, neurologists, internal medicine specialists, access to CAT scans, access to MRIs, access to a lot of diagnostic tools that those of us in family practice don't have. And so we're going to work this up a little bit further, see if we can't come up with whether or not we're dealing with seizure activity or syncopal episodes. So we hope to have more information to follow up. We hope Amber Rose does much better. Mom hopes she does much better, and she's a great owner. She's willing to go to those lengths to take her pup, who she's enjoyed for all these years, and try and come up with a more definitive diagnosis. All right. Bye now.